It's the Axe Man here. It's a yes, a minor injury. Dr. Diddler has crawled out of the box. <laughs> to make his triumphant return to streaming. Now, I'm assuming you're up to... Hey, hey, you old beard? ...speed on the whole Dr. Disrespect controversy. If you're not, well, I have a video covering the whole thing. Suffice to say, Doc was accused of sending inappropriate texts to a minor. Yes. He later confirmed that he sent inappropriate texts and to a minor. He later confirmed and it, and then he took it out, and then he put it back in, and then he said it was all part of his master plan. And at that point, after confessing, you know, he later Lightning. took the word minor out of the tweet and then put it back into the tweet, his, like, written confession on Twitter. And so yep. he's been on vacation for about a month. So he has had time to think about what he would tell his audience and present to them when he comes back to stream. Ladies and also, isn't it so funny whenever there's a big controversy, suddenly, suddenly the person involved in the controversy is on a, on a vacation, well, just uh, casually, oops, I'm on vacation. Not saying that some people aren't actually on the vacation, then, but, you know, you know. Gentlemen, he did just that in his latest stream titled The Truth. Oh, finally, we're gonna be getting the messages or some kind of evidence presented because we, we don't go. have any fucking evidence. Here we just we have go. a confession and some accusations and testimony. But you know what? Fair's fair. We're gonna listen to what he has to say and give him a fair shot to defend himself. Even though I don't think he really deserves it. So let's take a look at Doc's response to the allegations, this time in video format. Yeah, just keep ignoring the issue and putting up this act. I'm so concerned and worried about everyone else's problems, except mine, because I'm dealing with a- I love the music. Deeper depression, and I like to project. Who could be projecting in this situation? I, I wonder mm. who's projecting. Is it the random YouTube commenter who's curious about what Doc's been doing for the last month? If the allegations are true or not? Or is it the guy who's accused of inappropriately texting minors? Ooh. Who could possibly be projecting any kind of insecurity? Clearly it's me. <laughs> Clearly I'm the one projecting here. Security Clearly. about something. <laughs> he uh. starts off with the no you strategy. What, me? <laughs> Address the highly controversial allegations? You want me to do that? You. Also, recently, everyone, whenever they get into a fucking controversy, recently, everyone is just uh, fucking accusing everyone else of projection. Projection is the easiest and earliest offense they all go to. Must be depressed. It's like not too far off something that low tier God would say. The next one is be, I was in a dark place. You serve no purpose in life. Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. It's not quite there, but you know, not too far off. A lot of people donating. I, I, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. <sighs> a lot of fools. There's probably a lot of people who have fond memories of Dr. Disrespect and they I want don't. to believe. <laughs> I don't. I never liked the guy. If, like, I never liked the guy, if I'm gonna be honest. Innocent. Now, we can't forget that he confessed initially. So whatever he, he says in this video, has he's got to recant that confession, right? In some way. After what's transpired over the last couple months, am I excited to be back to this type of world? <laughs> what type of world? I, I, I wouldn't choose to be here. Why would I this world? This world sucks ass. Why would I choose to be here? I have to be here. World doc. A world in which the general public views hey, you good. as a groomer and a predator? That that type of world? 1v5, huh? Can they reconnect enough? <laughs> Did you guys see that, by the way? He was playing, uh, what's the game called, Deadlock? And everyone on his team disconnected when they saw they were playing with him. <gasps> Funniest shit. My God, read the room. A world where you d admitted to that? What type of world do you think Dr. Disrespect is talking about? Could it be a world infested with woke, perhaps? Up yours, woke moralists. So it's September 25th is mm -hmm. basically when we can reapply for partnership on YouTube. Is he partnered now? Like, chat, do you know? 
Dr. Disrespect. Did he get repartnered? It's a cheddar's purpose as well. You saw it, Iron Lord? Wait, what? What are you guys on about? He has the verified mark. He has the verified mark. I don't know if that means he's partnered, though. Doesn't that just mean he has 100k subs? I don't, I don't exactly know when you get it. Is he not partnered? No? He was partnered, then lost it. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I don't know if it, they let him back. That's what I want to know. If they do, didn't Ooh, let him back. There's an interesting question. Should he be allowed back into the YouTube mm -hmm. partner program? Nope. I don't have the answers. But if I was in Doc's position, you know what would really help right now? You know what really helped me when... Is that, is that an ad? I got demonetized? Having the fucking receipts readily av oh. <laughs> available. When YouTube came at me... Yep, that, that's the one. He did no receipts. No receipts shown. No receipts shown. ...me on Twitter and said... The reason that you were demonetized, I'm paraphrasing, the reason you were demonetized is you made direct or serious threats against YouTube staff. I quickly posted the things Hold they up. were talking about and everybody saw it, like 99.9% .9 of people saw that and like, yeah, he's clearly joking. Ackman is joking. This, like, he clearly doesn't mean it. If you're in this position, Doc, why haven't you done that? Why didn't you do that? No, because maybe there's some the truth receipt. to the allegations that he can't just outright disprove them. So in the meantime, We'll do what we need to do. I was expecting a VPN. Net. Yeah, same, same. I enjoy my time here on YouTube. You know, we've built a nice, strong community. Yeah, because you're not back on Twitch. And if Twitch did so wrongfully ban you, why aren't you unbanned? Why are you not unbanned? All down the drain. Because you just couldn't control yourself. For almost four how hard is it to not text minus in 2024 man i mean to be fair this didn't happen in 2024 generally how hard is it to not text minus man <laughs> what receives so the kid thing from what i'm getting it a fully nd8 only it was nd8 until uh i think cody was his name came out with it and talked about it and then he is allowed to make a response in regards of it. And then he was allowed to make a response in regards of that and was able to show receipts now. Are you talking to my ass on Twitch? You better be using not VPN. <laughs> Four years. The public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all... Missed the point with my personal statement. Ah, uh, it, it was our fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's just like Nicado Avocado, always two steps ahead. It was our fault. We all misread that that tweet. Two incorrectly. steps ahead. Sorry. Oh, it was my fault. You're right. Yeah. I take full responsibility for mm -hmm. misinterpreting mm -hmm. your tweet, where you admitted to sending inappropriate messages to a minor. That's on me. That's on me, fellas. You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration. All parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. Can we talk about why those are the rules though? Like, let's say you're in Dr. Disrespect's mm. position. And again, I've been there when I was accused of something pretty terrible and my channel was demonetized. Obviously not on the same level as Doc, but I've been in that position where you're accused of something. I wanted people to know the truth. I wanted to show yeah. people, hey, what YouTube is yeah. saying I did, I didn't actually do. For me to say this, I do not understand. If Dr. Disrespect is innocent, why he would settle for less? Why he would settle for keeping his innocence secret? Ask yourself that question. Why would he agree to this? In arbitration, yeah. both parties have to agree that it's going to remain private. Now you might say, oh, Hi, he didn't Jack. want to go through a lawsuit. Yeah, I get that. Sure, this is your Twitch channel. This is your brand. This is your personality. If people don't know the reason why you were banned, you have to have the foresight to know that's going to follow you wherever you go. So the sooner you quash the allegations, the sooner you can move on with your life. But that's not what Doc has done. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. It was keeping secret just how bad he actually acted on the DMs probably. That's what I'm thinking too. Like, I don't think anything illegal happened, but things aren't just um, black and white, you know? Things aren't just 
illegal and non-illegal. There's fucking morality to all these things too, man. Like, he might not have been actually sexting, but he might have still said some really inappropriate stuff to a minor. And just because the minor did say then that uh, they didn't feel harmed, A, a victim sometimes doesn't know when they are a victim, I'm sorry to tell you. The minors do not have uh, the capacity to know when things are being done to them. A minor does not know what uh, is good for them, and even if they were 16 to 17, they're still not full, fully developed. Honestly, don't know. I never watched it to disrespect. Not my cup of tea. Neither, neither is he mine. Never liked his personality, man. All this fucking face, uh, like a uh, double face, fucking acting, stupid, like fucking ego riding bullshit. Uh, ain't my shit. There was no evidence from my other side. I could be worse than uh, we imagine, or basically harmless. For example, discussing the person's sex life, which would be inappropriate, sexual in nature and not illegal. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Let minus be mine and peace. <laughs> honestly, man, honestly. <laughs> they could also have been paid off NDA, so they couldn't speak of it. True, true, true. And adults that don't notice abuse also exist. Yes, yes, yes. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Again, why would you agree to that? If you have been right? so... Like, if you had been wronged, why would you agree to it? Obviously wronged by Twitch. And you can prove it, you'll get What's your money schedule? and your reputation Dr. back. So Diddley. why settle for less? Ask yourself that question, people. And again, I respected all the confidential obligations. So you're still kind of playing the whole... Legally, I did everything right. Legally, yep, while is. going through the legal process, I didn't break the law. It's a sort of like argument that's distance from the actual allegation because being charged with a crime and committing a crime are in fact two different things. Just because there someone was not charged with a criminal offense does not mean a criminal offense that, occurred. That okay? is also true. Remember that. Evidence true, can true, exist. True, it can true, implicate true, a certain true. person. Perhaps an investigation was fucked up and that evidence became inadmissible. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, he's good point. wasn't even involved. Leaks, Twitch's reported reason. Years later, why do this? What was the <laughs> Why? Yeah, I wonder. Why? Because you're still out there, unpunished, doing God knows what. Point. This was settled professionally. Again, notice the pattern. This was settled professionally, not... I didn't do what I'm accused of. This was settled professional. Innocent until proven guilty? Well... To that I say, yes. In this case specifically, though... The evidence is... And yet... The evidence is there. And he has confessed. Bro, literally did say he did it. Bro, literally did say we did it. And uh, until proven guilty, I mean... Evidence is uh, apparently NDA'd. Okay. Missing until proven guilty, huh? So how did he not get punished? Because nothing illegal occurred, apparently. Also, listen to what the Eggman is saying right here. Listen to this. Not, I didn't do what I'm against. Boy. What? What? Does not mean as being yeah, charged with a crime and committing a crime are in fact two different things just because someone was not charged with a criminal offense does not mean a criminal offense occurred okay remember that evidence can exist it can implicate a certain person perhaps an investigation was fucked up and that evidence became inadmissible cody connors ex-twitch employee wasn't even involved leaks 
Twitch's reported that reason. Years later, why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally. Again, notice the pattern. This was settled professionally. professionally. Not, I didn't do what I'm accused of. This was settled professionally. Legally, I was not charged or convicted with yeah. the crime, so... Yep, he's very much putting it all on. Into I'm all the legal good speech. on the morality scale. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided you fucking rat. Oh, that's my bad. He's a rat. Well, I mean, for what, Cody? Why? Well, if you remember in his tweet, he said, "Fuck him and his boys." At the time, Nick Merckx was involved in a little controversy of his own. What do you think that part "fuck him and his boys" meant? Clearly, he had Ooh. some beef with what Nick Merckx was saying at the time. Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two-time? <laughs> literally, literally me right now, man. Literally, oh my... Oh. Hell no. <laughs> Bro, take off the fucking wig and address this like a man if you really are... Right, take off the fucking wig. Stop fucking acting. R1, holy shit. I'm not a psychologist, but I imagine that experience of him coming out out of character, breaking character and saying, I cheated on my wife on a live stream in front of his audience. That experience has followed him ever since. That has been very traumatizing for him and his career, I imagine. But I think maybe this Dr. Disrespect character is a way to try and distance himself from the allegations and from his past. As Maybe, maybe. To be honest, I hope Doc takes him to court. If he wins, I will make the net go insane. If he wins, if he wins uh, with the defamation case, right? If he actually wins the defamation case, that... Wow. I would say wow. Wow. Your Honor, quantum physics state that particles do not touch each other. So no, I did not do that for No! <laughs> Eggman has done this too. He's very fake as well. Sure. Sure. Eggman might have pushed up his personality to a degree too. I haven't come across anyone who has done it as a fucking insanely... Like, to the level of insanity that Doc doesn't, man. Like, fucking Christ. He cheated on his wife and then tried to groom a child? Yeah. 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 As opposed to taking the fucking yeah. wig off and not being a cartoon character when you're addressing such serious things. Just a thought. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was s***ing a minor through Whisper's messages? You confessed. <laughs> Do you even know what the legal definition of s***ing is? Ugh. No. I think, look, this is the court of public opinion. You are supposed to argue legal definitions in a court case. This is the court of public opinion. And if you yep. have to resort to arguing against we don't, we don't really care about the legal definition of it. We care about your actions. It's the legal definition of s instead of saying, I didn't s this person. It's not a good look. Do you nope. even know what the legal definition of s is? I do. Of course he would. Of course he would. You know, I'm something of a sexter myself. <laughs> I bet you know what the legal definition of s**ing is. I'll bet you have really, really deep insight into that matter. You must have thought about it or researched it quite a bit. Not, yeah. not my personal area of expertise, but uh, you do you. And yeah, I <laughs> used Twitch's buddy. whispers, but trust me, I wasn't s**ing anyone. I, oh, bro, I hate Objection. the face. Inappropriate messages with the minor. You said you did that. You responded to an allegation that you the minor and you said yeah i sent them inappropriate messages what, what conclusion are we to draw from these two things hmm. but now he's saying he wasn't anybody hmm. I, I just can't figure it out can't put two and two together doc is innocent folks he's innocent you also said
<laughs> Good people commonly read books of law to see if there's loopholes to make sure they can get out of sentencing. Good point, buddy. Very good fucking point, man. Yep. So this case was settled out of court? Yeah. Or was this case dropped? No, 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 it was settled. They settled. I'm sorry, I have a hard time understanding. The word no, no, no. Minor, From what I understand, Cody. they settled. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement. Edited. Just to make sure these so-called <laughs> journalists... <laughs> two steps ahead, Chad. He's always two steps ahead. He's pulling an Ikaru avocado on us. ...would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. Oh my god, he has brain damage. He has <laughs> fucking brain damage. Are you are you a fucking idiot? I, I cannot even <laughs> believe what he just said. By the way, this is a, like a pre-written statement. Like you guys can obviously tell that. This is this has been rehearsed and written down. You consider a case where a minor is involved? Yeah, because he wasn't criminally charged with anything because there wasn't any proper crime committed. There was no crime committed. That doesn't mean that he didn't text them inappropriately. Is this part of that masterful gambit? Huh. I included the word <laughs> yes. minor in my written confession <laughs> yes, just to expose yeah. the corrupt journalist who had already reported that I had a minor in articles prior to me posting my confession. But no, I did that intentionally. <laughs> His fucking eyes are from bleach, man. He's, he's the master mind. Just to fool you. Just to trick you. The idea that Doc is some kind of master manipulator pulling a bait and switch is more than just illogical. It's a shit PR strategy. Yep. And in my opinion, good old Occam's yeah, razor, okay. the simplest answer is usually the correct one. Doc posted that <laughs> initial <laughs> confession tweet, realized he fucked up, tried yep. to edit the word minor out, and then people instantly noticed that. Put it back in, and this is all just damage control. Yep. You yep. can't reverse that. Yep. You, you played your hand, and you were bluffing. Okay. Yep. You lost the poker game. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch mm -hmm. user may have been over the legal age of consent at the? Mm -hmm. They. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. He chose his words carefully there. Time of the messages? Oh, he chose his words God. carefully. Don't, please don't tell. I mean, people are actually believing this. This is insane. I, I know it's like he's exuding this air of confidence, this aroma of confidence, but actually listen to what he's saying and more importantly, what he's not saying. Did you... He said minor then. They said we're over the age of consent. Because from what I understood, from what I remember, that in most stage, the legal age of consent is 16. From what I understand. I might be wrong. I might be misremembering. So do correct me if I'm wrong. But that's, that, that's what's in my brain. That's what I do remember. Consider this person may have been over the legal age also of may may and have been may have not this person was over 18 they may have been don't you find it a little suspicious and even so there would still have been a minor but he keeps tap dancing around what the age of the person actually was like however read up on romeo and juliet laws in u.s states that limit the age of consent even so romeo and juliet laws wouldn't fucking matter in this case anyway like uh, that that doesn't matter right now. It varies from state for, uh, from state to state, but ninety percent of sixteen. Some are lower, even lower. You're Jesus. clearly not bound by the legal gag order anymore. How old was this person? Go, no, go how old they? How old was this person? Oh, yeah. Doc? What's the age? Because he knows it doesn't look good for him. Also, keep in mind he's arguing about the age of consent in like a particular state, which could mean it's 16 or 17. So basically, whoever this person was, we can say for certainty they were under the age of 18. And if you are 35, married, and have a child, you ain't got no fucking business messaging someone inappropriately agreed. that's under that age. 100% agreed. 100% true. 14 in Germany, I believe? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. Hi, Alex. How is it going? In Texas, a person can get married at 14 so long as the parents consent. 
I, I, I think that's disgusting. Personally, I, I, I think that's disgusting. You don't have any business doing that as someone your age. You're fucking married, bro. <laughs> Why are we sitting here trying to justify this, bro? Let's set the record straight. I okay, never intended let, to meet this user it. ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we n never met. But that little pause there. Made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And Excalibur, hi. In fact, we n never met. That stutter. A little suspicious to stutter on never. We n never met. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. Okay, so just to keep track, first it was our fault for misinterpreting his message. Yeah. Then it yeah. was the journalists who reported the story yes. and talked to Twitch staff. Anyone but it him. It was the former Twitch employee's fault, Cody Connors, and also other staff at Twitch. So yeah. four people are at fault, none of them Dr. Disrespect. Yep, anyone but him. Anyone but him. But wasn't 14 the age of consent in Germany only if the partner is not more than three years old? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. To me? I don't know. There might have some Romeo Juliet shit going on. I'm not entirely sure. I've been watching you on YouTube, so I decided I might as well watch you on Twitch as well. Hey, let's go. I feel like he spent more time rehearsing with his lawyer during his vacation than his actual vacation. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> I mean, uh, I yeah, all of you obviously. Sort of and coordinated this attack. It was oh, the yeah. deep state. I knew it was the deep state the whole time. It's all just been a conspiracy, man. Especially the tweet confessing. Yes, your account was hacked. Silky Just use the quantum TV defense. Your account, your accounts were hacked. You, you <laughs> used to actually say those things, bro. <laughs> actually, his his little bro was on the PC. His little bro was using his PC. Say that. Say that. Big time publications. These journalists. These various <sighs> outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now, don't you think, champs? Fake news? Fake news? Without any real journalism and real research happening. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, uh -huh. then you would uh -huh. hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's yep. just too much to ask. I think your fans would expect you if you had been <laughs> wrongfully banned and your contract terminated Without to be on bad cause for you to be truthful about that uh, why it, would you not want the entire world to see how innocent you are but you settled you arbitrated it both parties wanted to keep it private and that's what's important to remember mm -hmm. both parties both wanted parties. to cover this up if these former trust and safety team members and by the way i know exactly who they are <laughs> actually mm -hmm. have I, I know exactly who they first hand are. knowledge then what they conveniently left out is one, yeah. Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not Do you have internal documents? I mean, you went through the court case. Receipts? I mean, if you're not bound by the gag order, surely you can share Receipts? some of this evidence that you're saying exists. Receipts? You guys realize that all we have to go on are the accusations and the previous confession, okay? So until something else is provided beyond that, I think we're just mostly stuck at square one. I at least yeah. will say that Twitch probably fucked up the investigation to some extent. How they, they did that, yeah. I have they no idea. All it seems like is that Twitch did not have altruistic reasons themselves for wanting to keep this private as well. Who knows though? And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Uh, well, thank thank God. Thank goodness. Thank you. It didn't constitute abuse material. You notice how he keeps referencing like legal terms. Yeah, right? it's. I didn't. Uh, oh my. Headache. The headache. Wolf and Fang. Thanks for the follow. Do anything legally wrong. But I'm still creepy, and I still would have been a teenager if I could have gotten away with it while I'm that's 35. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. I'll there say it, it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged yeah. any sexual graphic messages or images. Why didn't you say that right from the get-go? Yep. I even used the word inappropriate. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Here we go. Purposely. Here we go. <laughs> 
See, he can't say, oh yeah, I fucked up. I didn't mean to put that in there because that, <laughs> that makes him look like an idiot. So he has to proceed with this facade of confidence. I did. It's the Joker, did baby. Intentionally. All part of my master gambit. My ultimate plan. <laughs> and look at how it's defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. That's so it's super fucking defamation. Cringe, so he keeps it's the wrong everyone. super defamation. That, that's fucking do, a, it. do it. Do it. This is your entire do reputation. It. You got banned from Twitch. You're not monetized on YouTube. This is having a serious effect do on it. your career, your ability to make money, and your public image. Sue for defamation. Yeah. Take him to court. Clean him out. But he won't, will he? I'm sorry, but <laughs> mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context. Hold on. Mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes. This is a question for uh, anyone, let's say 25 and older watching okay. this video. Would you guys ever describe an interaction you have with a minor as mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes? No. Are, are, have you ever used no. those five words in order to describe Becker any music. conversation you've <laughs> ever had with another real human being? Didn't mm. think so. Didn't think no. so. No. How would each of you look no. if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by some Still being directed at a minor, though. Someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. All of us have said bullshit things. All of us have said bullshit things, like 100%. We still haven't texted with a minor in an um, a pro, in, inappropriate bantery way. Like, no, no, doc. <laughs> we did not text a minor in an impro inappropriate way. So I will admit it's entirely possible that there was some greater conspiracy at Twitch to get rid of Doc and he had messages I that, about that somebody too. saw and was like, oh, I could spin this a certain way. Like, let's be honest, Doc is, or was, <laughs> a bad public view. Like, the way Doc acts is a bad public view. Let's, like, I, if I was an advertiser, I wouldn't want him to be the one that does my advertising, you know? So he did look a little bit bad for the platform. So I would understand if Twitch wouldn't really be going out of their way to reinstate his account. You know? I'm sure. Sure. We all have been in contact with minors in a way or another, but keep your language according to it, I say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Stay it in the appropriate shit way and that's exactly what they did but if that's what they did again it falls back on why did you settle to keep all that private wouldn't you They're, want the public to know the that there was a conspiracy against you to get you off of twitch yeah. and that you were wrongfully Defamation. banned your career and progress completely why are you still halted, banned and a, and a stamp of shame forever labeled why are you still banned why do you need to reapply for youtube partner why doesn't youtube just re-monetize you Huh? On you? Wouldn't you want to clear all that up if they were in the wrong? And this is not a situation where victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing. That never happened here. Guys, the victim didn't mm. come forward. So, so who yeah. knows if she? <laughs> victim didn't come forward. Never, nothing happened. Victim. <laughs> Fucking shit! I just. Oh my god! I just thought about something so bad, man. Oh my god, I thought of the worst comparison ever, bro. I, I can't even say that. I can't even say that fucking comparison, bro. That's so bad. Uh, but all I'm gonna say is that... Imagine... Like, I'm gonna keep it, like... Somewhat appropriate. Imagine... Murder victim fucking dies. <laughs> they can fucking speak out against you, Typhoon. You know? <laughs> Super comparison now, and I like in that sense, super comparison, but uh, my brain, my brain is cooked. Uh, my brain is cooked. Oh my god, even cooked exists. Brain. Who knows how old this person might have been? I do, I know, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> We're talking about yeah, allegations that Twitch made against me as a half baked reason for justifying their actions. Same mental process here. I was about to make a Ted Bundy joke for fuck's sake. 
illegal only if the police was there. <laughs> you know, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to see it, did it really fall over? Did it really happen? about allegations that Twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal! So does Twitch only ban people Leo! who commit crimes? Like a felony or a misdemeanor? But it, but it has to be legally defined as a crime. They, they should be able to be charged with a crime. That's the bar that Twitch has for permanently banning people? No. I think what's probably yeah, most obviously. close to the obviously. truth is that your messages were very inappropriate, uh, displayed inappropriate. a clear intent that people yep. at Twitch saw as a clear intent, but there was yep. not enough to charge him with a crime. Right? Yep, that's you what I'm thinking too. You think about all the To Catch a Predator episodes, think of all of the chat logs they need to have, and then they need the guy to show up. If the guy doesn't show up, they can't arrest him. Sending yep. inappropriate messages yep. to a minor and talking about plans to meet up at Twitch shows an intent but it might not be enough to file criminal charges. There is a big difference. It's enough for the court of public opinion to say, wow, that's grooming behavior. Oh, he's yeah. coming back from Epstein Island. <laughs> <laughs> this comment from Esmond killed me, man. This comment fucking killed me. It's so good. Oh my say, God. Wow, that's grooming behavior. Oh, he's coming back from Epstein Island. <laughs> oh my but God, But it's not man. enough for the courts to convict. And that's the defense he's going with. Legally, I was cleared of any wrongdoing. On June 21st, 2020, my ex Twitch partner manager learns that I exchanged whispers with the Twitch user. And I say mm -hmm. ex partner manager because yeah. for years, this guy didn't do anything. Okay, so now, now we have a fifth person. Apparently, apparently the... The things he wasn't doing was he was like doc wasn't getting front page promotions and shit and whatnot and back then they handled front page promotions differently right i was on the front page like just start of the month but back then they handled it differently and i mean doc is not a good look for advertisers he just ain't his his partner manager so we've got five separate entities who are also if his partner manager was so fucking shit, why didn't he try to get a, a fucking new partner manager way earlier? From what I remember, he did get a new partner manager eventually, but he didn't ask for one way earlier. Who are at fault uh, conspiring against Doc. So the next part of his response basically details how this partner manager didn't do anything to help him and conspired against him to get him removed from the platform. So after we signed with Twitch in 2019, we asked for a new partner manager. And just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? Did you get a new partner manager? I if think so, not. why did he wait a few months to try to get you banned? The Twitch user tells the ex Twitch partner manager that they mm -hmm. do not want to report anything to Twitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. ex Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch even though mm. the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no wow a minor <laughs> oh. oh yeah i just I photographs just, were exchanged you see what he left out receive. there the inappropriate messages hmm doesn't deny that again you have to listen to what he doesn't say what he doesn't outright deny on June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. Is a thing. Man, yeah. what you're yeah. saying right now would be a lot more compelling if you put like a screenshot of yeah. said conversation. I mean, yeah, like, like, like just show what you said or didn't say, right? Just I said, you show were in us. this court case. Did you not have access to those files? The same as Twitch? It, it would be really compelling stuff, I tell you what. He finds out <laughs> that no further action will be taken, so what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. Again, going down the legal defense route. So a day later, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. L okay. Let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi-mill, yep. big-time arbitration. Okay. Okay. You know, you discover a lot of stuff. 
Share it. Okay. Share it. For the love of God. Okay. Yeah. I don't like, know. Do okay. I need to watch the rest of this? How much longer does this go on for? Jesus Christ. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. The LER okay. analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context to this director. Within less than one hour, oh, this Lucifer LER analyst and, and his director True. have made True. the decision to suspend me from- True. He has not said that he is innocent. That he didn't. <laughs> Do shit. Oh, Twitch. So if I were to hazard a guess, it would seem that this is the crux of how it was mishandled, is that the person who was in charge of the decision saw these messages, determined they were really, really bad, that action needed to be taken immediately, and maybe they didn't go through the proper channels. But that the messages are bad enough that Doc does not want them to be public and does not want to reveal the age of the person he was talking to or any other specific details. So... It would seem Doc did something wrong and Twitch fucked up their handling of it. Twitch. Mm. They have extreme mental gymnastics to avoid taking responsibility. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all it is. It's fucking extreme mental gymnastics. Is that a strip? That's all there is? The whole case is burned from every side. Yeah. Submits yep, a yep, report yep, to yep, yep, NCMEC, yep. the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As yep. far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. Was a child missing, Doc? <laughs> Did the person you were talking to go missing? As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> In a cosmic sort of way. <laughs> I'm the mastermind. I'm the chick baby. Two steps ahead. Yes. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate yeah. my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the message... Then why did they ban you? Why did they ban you? This exchange were illegal in any way! If it wasn't illegal, it doesn't mean it was okay. Yeah. It doesn't mean you weren't trying to hook <laughs> yeah. up with someone under the age of 18 while you <laughs> yeah. were married and had a kid. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Doesn't change the fact that you talked about meeting up with this person, even if you didn't. Sounds like what you did is not criminally prosecutable, if that's a word. But it that's is exactly bad enough it. that Twitch saw what you were doing and saying. To be a little cartoon villain? Yeah, yeah 100%. Go. We know what this is. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. So, yeah, he's, he's just going to argue the fucking legal aspect. In technicality, bullies isn't a crime. This is how stupid his argument is. Yep. And uh, yep. I, yep. I think yep. you don't need to yep. listen to any more Agreed. of this. You can listen yeah. to the rest of his response you really if you don't want need to. to listen more I'm to just going to be repeating myself endlessly. Bottom line, um, where we're brain at rot, is brain much damage. still where we were before. Although now we he have a slightly better idea of maybe what Twitch's full role in all of this was. Again, that provides no evidence but outside of testimony. What he's saying has obviously been well rehearsed, maybe run through a lawyer. Maybe this is what happened or was determined in the case, but we don't know because they took it to we arbitration. Don't. And I think that's pretty telling. Doc's old friends still aren't really accepting him at all. Late thirties, you got a kid, a wife, and you're doing yeah. stuff like that, man. Am I gonna associate myself with the guy again? No. Like I said, he already Good. posted a confession. Fucked up, played his hand, had a 2 7 offsuit. Yep, sorry, bud, you bluffed, and we called you on it. Married so men, oh. nothing's really changed. It remains to be seen woman. how YouTube will handle so this situation or yeah. what, if any evidence is going to come out after this. Like, hey, maybe we'll see court documents. Doubt it. Best case scenario. Like, sue them for defamation. Dr. Disrespect was only trying or considering hooking up with the 16 or 17 year old. That's the best case scenario, okay? You're so but upset that he got what do you caught think? and doesn't care what he did. Let me know your thoughts and opinions so in the comments yeah! below. Like the video if you enjoyed yeah! it and subscribe to the Act Man for more awesome content. You know what? This video wasn't that awesome. <laughs> all right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This is the Act Man signing out. Peace. Peace. Uh, yeah, that's my contribution to the topic. That is my contribution to the topic. By YouTube, by YouTube. Yeah. Um. Bullshit. Bullshit. All this fucking mental gymnastics, all this fucking legal talk. Show receipts. Why are you still banned on fucking Twitch? Sue for defamation. If you didn't do it, go on. Do all of that. 
fucking sue Cody for defamation. I don't. Oh, oh, I don't know. I'll need a broomstick or something, man. Like, oh, oh fucking Christ, man. Oh. Yeah, bye, YouTubes. <laughs>